G'day, how you going there guys? Diesel for Getting Around Oz, Camper Trailer Traveling, and thanks for joining us. So for today's video, we've got a bit of a camper trailer hack coming up for you. As many would know, the WA coast in summer is a pretty bloody windy time, and that's brought about some challenges. But in today's video, I've got a hack I'm gonna show you. Anyway, enough crapping on. Cheers, let's get into it. Radio. So before I get in and show you what I'm actually going to do, I'll just show you a quick snippet now of some of the wind we experienced while we're up in Dongra, which is a few hours north of Perth. But it's just an example of what a WA coastline is like for, you know, pretty much the summer months on and off, but most of the time. And I'll show you the problems we're having as well. These poles where they fix in here. So this middle one's been fine. How do you know? You don't like TikTok. That one there. And that end one. What it is. These poles clip in here and as you, as you can see, the wind just pushes in from the outside and bang clicks it out and then suddenly it's hanging like that. Now there's two reasons for doing this today. The first reason is you can see how even though it was tied down with pegs, and I've had this problem happen a few times before, it wasn't just this one occasion, doesn't matter how well you tie things down, there's going to be some flex in your gear or some flex in your annex. While you can see it was coming undone, while it's clearly a safety concern, you know, coming off during the night and really upsetting the structural integrity of the, the whole annex, when it's windy and when the weather isn't great, it's also bloody noisy during the night. It basically just goes like this all night, and it's just going rattle, 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 rattle. First, it's bloody noisy, but it's also something when you're trying to get to sleep or you're sleeping during the night, it makes you nervous because you're not exactly sure if it's going to hold or not. It probably will hold, but quite a few times it has come undone. And and uh, if you're like me, when I go to bed and sleep, I want to sleep. I don't have to get up and bug around and reclip things and, and stuff around and, and um, you know wake up everyone else in the process. But the second reason is, it can be a little bit of a challenge trying to feed this through and actually hook it on. Now, while I've got the MDC Robson, I understand there's a lot of forward fold campers that use something similar to this. So that's how the hook should look. That's how the that's how it looks. Like that's actually been straightened out just from our last trip, which gives you an idea of just how much stress they're running. And these are these are pretty strong as well. So the plan is is using a little carabiner hook, something like that. Basically, put it on the pole like that. It goes up, it clips on, stays on. And as you can see, once it's on there, it's not bloody coming out, that's for sure. So for the job today, I got these ones here. These are six millimeter stainless steel carabiner hook. I got these ones from Anaconda. I'm also gonna use, well, I couldn't get any stainless steel ones from Bunnos. These are the uh, M6 20 mil bolts, hex bolts. I'm gonna be using M6 lock nuts and washers. Just a couple of 10 mil spanners. The old handy drill. I reckon that's everything I'm gonna need. So anyway, let's get into it. Alrighty, so now while this is a six mil one, you can get a, a five mil as well, which might just fit in. But first thing is this one here won't fit in the pole. So I'm just gonna to need to hammer this one down and flatten it out a bit. All right, so you can see there what I've done. Here we go. So that can go in there beautifully like that. So I want to go about there. So I'm just going to mark a little drill hole here. About there. And same for the other side here. Now, obviously I don't want that to go in down in there too far. I am going to tighten up and 
and squash them together. But I obviously want enough room for that little latch there not to fall under there and get squashed down there because then that'll tighten up and likely won't function as well. So as you can see there, just a little drill spot there and that one there and all right, so let's drill the hole. Yeah, so there you go. It's not the best hole, but it'll do. I'll just file off the edges, but. All right, so I just smoothed off the edges here. And we're pretty much right to try and screw this on now. That bit there is going to get squashed, so I might have to file it away, but we'll see how we go. Yep, beautiful. And that's it. So I just obviously use the washer each side and obviously not going anywhere as well, but you can see why I use the bloody lock nut. Now I have seen this done before with a wing nut as well, that's another way you could do it. But that's the method I've gone with. So in theory, bang, just like that, should be that easy. Rightio, let's go and give it a crack. Bang, done. Bloody beautiful. All right, so now we've got that one on there. Just one thing left to do, and that's cut this bloody thing off. So it's not exactly straight, but yep, that won't matter. It's done. All right, so there you go, job done. So I've done the other five now. That took me about 10 or 15 minutes to do, so, and it wasn't that hard. And I'm really happy how it turned out. It obviously, it functioned how I'd wanted it to. Um, it stays on like I wanted to as well. And getting it on there, was a, it was a bit easier as well. So cost-wise, I don't know off the top of my head, I hope I could find them and put them on the screen as I was going through them. But I will put the links in the description of what the parts were. So if you want to do it, you can do it yourself, but it was all, yeah, hey, it was all pretty easy. I'm no master handyman myself, so if I can do it, then, then, uh, then most of probably can, that's for sure. So if you've got any questions at all, chuck them in the comments. I'll do my best to try and answer it for you. Hey, if this is the first video you've seen from our channel, check out some other ones and, and I uh, hope you enjoy those. So anyway, I probably flapped my gums long enough now. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get out camping in a couple of weeks, so I was, uh, basically changed the house I've had some I had COVID last week and haven't known much at all and well I'll get some camping videos coming to you soon but until then I'm Diesel for Getting Around Ross Camp Trailer Traveling I hope you enjoyed it